Hello everyone and welcome back to these sessions on strategic financial management. Within the topic derivatives, here we are continuing with a wonderful discussion that is about option strategies. Now in the earlier classes of option strategies, what we have done, we have covered the elementary strategies and combination of strategies with stocks, where we have particularly focused on covered call protective put and we have also observed the reversal of those strategies or the reverse position with respect to similar strategies. Now here we are going little deeper. We will be creating combination of options to create an option strategy and here all possible strategies can be classified into two categories spread strategies and non spread strategies. So what we have to understand you may call non spread strategies simply as other strategies, but I will specifically emphasize you to call it as non spread strategies. Now spread strategies has one good aspect. It is low risky strategy. On the other side, the non spread strategy is a risky strategy. So you want to keep lowest possible risk and yet make profits out of your sentiments in the market then spread strategy is very good option. On the other side, if you are willing to take risk, then you can go for non spread strategies. Anyway, each strategy will have its own pros and cons. Each strategy will be suitable at a given situation. You cannot just pick a strategy randomly. You have to understand what strategy would fit into what kind of scenario. So let us first write something about spread strategies. So do one thing. Let us write some notes over here under spread strategies. These can be classified into the following. We have bull spread, bear spread, butterfly spread and condor. So just write up these four titles along with the heading spread strategies and then I take you ahead. All right, friends, once you have completed writing this much, let me explain to you something important. How do you generally classify strategies as spread and non spread? You will find one thing that under spread strategies, you will be dealing either only with call options or only with put options. There is no combination of call and put. Whereas under non spread strategies, it will be combination of call and put. So basically you understand it this way. People believe that reversal of a call position would be a put position means when you hold a call option, you have a right to buy. When you hold a put option, you have a right to sell. So if you want to make a combination like that, holding a right to buy as well as holding a right to sell, you know that comes under the category of non spread strategy where you have combined calls and puts under spread strategies. However, what we do is we take combinations of different options within the same category means if it is a strategy created out of call options, it will be only call options. So for example, you pick one call option at a particular exercise price where you become holder of that option and another call option on the same underlying on the same stock at a different exercise price where you become a call writer means you are holding a call option at a certain exercise price and you are writing another call option at another exercise price. So one stage you are paying some premium, another stage you are receiving some premium. What happens first of all, your premium on a net basis either becomes an income or becomes an expense initially, but that amount gets reduced because one side you are paying premium, another side you are receiving premium, whether it is positive or negative means the net amount being expense or income, but it will be a very small amount. And what happens that small amount of premium, what you have paid or received, if it is paid, it becomes the limit of your loss. If it is received, it becomes the limit of your profit. So basically under spread strategies, you will find that you will be having limited risk and limited profitability means you have limited gains and you have possibility of limited losses only nowhere you will be having an open range potential of having either a gain or a loss. 
so when you are combining a call holding with a call writing that kind of combination or a put holding and put writing that kind of combination then it could be either of the first two strategies mentioned over here it could be either a bull spread or a bear spread a bull spread is by name as it says it is created when you have sentiments that the prices of the stock would go up a bear spread is generally created when you have sentiments that the stock price would fall so let us do one thing let us write something about bull spread and bear spread but the real clarity you will be getting when we start taking some case study based situations or examples so what i'm going to do is in this part i'll give you notes on the bull spread and bear spread and in the next part i'll be taking you for dealing with numerical examples on bull spread and bear spread so let us first uh, write important notes over here in your notes writing you write the heading as bull spread a bull spread can be created by use of either call options or put options a bull spread created using call options is known as bull call spread or bull spread with calls similarly a bull spread created using put options is known as bull put spread or bull spread with puts a bull spread will always result into a position where the investor who creates bull spread will make profits that is limited profit when the market price rises and will incur loss that is limited loss when the market price falls so please write up this much and then i take you ahead all right friends once you have completed writing this much let us move ahead and continue writing further bear spread a bear spread can be created by use of either call options or put options a bear spread created using call options is known as bear call spread similarly a bear spread created using put options is known as bear put spread a bear spread will always result into a situation where the investor who creates bear spread will make profits that is limited profits when the market price falls and will incur loss that is limited loss when the market price rises so please write up this much and then we move ahead in the next part for dealing with calculative examples to better understand bull spread and bear spread but first you write up this quickly all right friends uh, once you have completed writing this much let us move ahead and write the concluding part of this a bear spread or bull spread is the simplest form of spread which can be created by simultaneously holding as well as writing call options or put options at same exercise dates but with different exercise price now as i told you to have a better understanding with respect to bull and bear spread strategies you will have to bank upon those numerical examples that are coming up in the next part but first you write this whole thing and we'll put an end to this part over here